Hey y'all, I'm Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use Harvest Guard lids. Now, if y'all are new around here, welcome. And if you're all about cooking from scratch, preserving your own foods, and eating for better health, well, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And don't forget to smash the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. So about a year ago, Harvest Guard sent me some of their reusable canning lids. And I did a review of them on my other channel, which I'll link up right here for you. And since doing my review, I have used Harvest Guard reusable canning lids exclusively in all of my canning projects. Yeah, I totally fell in love with the product. What can I say? And since the process of using the reusable canning lids is a little different, I thought a tutorial on how to use the reusable canning lids was in order. So now let's get into the kitchen and get canning. We're gonna start by first washing all of our jars, our rubber gaskets, and our plastic lids. This is the time that you wanna check your jars for cracks or chips. Next, you're gonna fill each jar to their appropriate headspace. Next, we're gonna wipe down the rim of each jar. Now, I prefer to use a paper towel and white distilled vinegar for this. And yes, I wipe the rims of the jars down each and every time. Next, we're gonna simmer our lids and rubber rings in very, very hot water for a few minutes. Now, I heat my water to just before the boiling point and then turn the heat source down. I also like to pre-assemble my lids and rubber rings before I put them into the hot water. I just find that it's easier if I pre-assemble them before putting them in the hot water. Now it's time to put the lids and rings on the jars. We're gonna remove the rubber gasket and plastic lid from the very hot water. Now we wanna make sure that that rubber gasket is evenly distributed on the rim of the jar. Now we're gonna put on the ring of the jar and I like to take just one finger and hold down the plastic lid. Now with one hand, I'm gonna to continue to screw down the ring onto the jar. Once that jar moves freely, we're gonna take one hand and hold the jar down. With the other hand, we're just going to twist the ring one turn. And this is what we call finger tight. Now it's very important that you don't tighten the metal ring as tight as you would with traditional metal lids. By over tightening the reusable canning lids, you don't allow the pressure to vent properly during the process time. Now it's time to process these and you're gonna process them just like you would for any other canning project, whether you're using a water bath canner or a pressure canner like I'm doing here. So after your process time, and if you're using a pressure canner like me, after all the pressure has come down, it's time to take those very hot jars out of the canner. Now after I take them out of the canner, I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes, and I'm gonna let these jars slightly cool. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna come and tighten all the rings on my jars. Now these jars are very, very hot, so I am using a towel to protect my hands. I'm gonna put a towel over the jars and let them cool to room temperature. This usually takes several, several, several hours. Once the jars have cooled to room temperature, I'm gonna take the towel off, and now it's time to take the rings off and see if these jars sealed properly. Now to check and see if it's sealed properly, I'm going to just kind of lift the jar by the lid. Now, if you don't have a proper seal, that lid will lift off from the jar very, very easily. And as you can see, the jars have sealed properly. Only thing left to do is to wash and label each jar and store them in the pantry without the metal ring. 
hope that you found this tutorial helpful and we'll see you on the next canning project.